Hello people! In this first lecture, uh, we're going to be learning how to set up our project and how to create a simple floor in Godot. First off, let's create a new project. So we press the new button, give our project a name. So in our case, we're going to be calling it my RPG. You can choose where your project is going to be on your computer. Then in the renderer, make sure you choose forward plus. This will allow us to have access to more, to more post processing and advanced 3D graphics. And then press create and edit. Once in the editor, I'm assuming you already worked a bit with Godot. So I won't be explaining everything uh, on the editor. First off, we're gonna create a 3D scene, rename it world, and we can save it. Control S to save, save save it there so it saves in our files uh, we're gonna organize a bit our game because our game files are going to get very messy if we don't so we're gonna create a few files uh, scenes audio rights objects scripts maybe we're missing one but well, I think we're good uh, let's move world.tscn into scenes uh, because it will be our main scene for the beginning of this tutorial. Let's create our floor. Uh, we're gonna start by making a static body 3D, rename it floor, then add a collision shape 3D and a mesh instance 3D. Okay, so the collision shape 3D will be the collisions of our floor. The mesh instance 3D will be the visuals of our floor. We have to put these two nodes under the static body 3D, otherwise the collision shape won't work. The collision shape has to, ha to have a parent that works with collisions to be able to work himself. Let's give a shape to our collision shape. We're gonna go to the right in the inspector, under collision shape 3D, there's shape, we press on empty, and we choose box shape 3D. We got a nice box. Then let's go into our mesh instance 3D under the inspector mesh instance 3D mesh press on empty choose quad mesh. Now we got a nice plane. As you can see, we can only see one side of the plane. And for this reason, we want the plane to face upwards. So we're going to press on the quad mesh and it will open a new tab. On this tab, we can change the size and a bunch of other features of our plane. Uh, first off, we're going to check orientation and make sure it's facing the Y. This way, the plane will be facing upwards. Then in size, we're going to resize it to 50 by 50. Uh, it will be the size for our first world in this tutorial series. Then we can go back to our collision shape 3D press on the box shape and resize it to the same size, 50 by 50. Then we're gonna reduce the height of the collision shape by half a meter because his physical height is one meter. So we're gonna go into transform, position, minus 0 0.5. This way it will be just at the same level as the plane. And we got a nice floor. We, we can personalize it a bit. Go into mesh. We can close this tab by pressing on the mesh. Then go into geometry, material override. Press on the empty button and create a new standard material 3D. I think you saw it, but the color changed a bit. You can press on the material, it will open a new tab Go into albedo and change the color of your floor. I'm gonna set it to green. Wow, a beautiful grass, green, a green grass, whatever. <laughs> In the next lecture, we're gonna be making our player controller. See you then.